Alright composers, so what do we have here? Well, I have this short composition that I created to try out my new master template in Logic Pro X and I realized that I have three ways of controlling the grid in Logic which I now am going to share with you here in this video. So first, let's take a listen to the track so I can show you the behind the scenes afterwards. Alright, so that was the composition. Now what we are going to focus on is the timing and the grid. And you can see straight away that I have marked these sections different from the rest of the percussion and rhythm because I do this to basically emphasize when I do a rhythmic change. In this case it's triplets. And that was kind of difficult to do before I learned about controlling and mastering the grid. So, if you listen to the rhythm alone here, you hear that it changes to triplet notes, in this case, eighth note, eighth note triplets. So, if we go into the piano roll, and we can actually see this together with the straight notes, if I open both here, you will see that the grid is now, by the way, the track is in 4-4 four, four and 16th division, uh, meaning you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, so 16 divisions for the entire bar. And in the final part of the bar you can see that the notes do not align to the grid because they are triplet notes. Well, what you the first lesson I want to teach you is that you can actually see the grid so that it aligns properly by simply changing the division value here to... If I change it to 12 you will see it in... Uh, so it's 12 divisions per bar now, even though it's 4-4. Four, four. And now these notes, which were triplets, align to the grid perfectly. But the straight notes do not, so you can switch back and forth. And I have actually set up this as a key command myself, so you can actually go into the custom key command editor and choose a value for it. Let me show you where it is, by the way. So if you just search for division, uh, you can see I've set it to set next higher division, set next lower division, and you can do this. So if I use my key command, watch what happens up here. Go back to 16th, go down, go up to 24 where you see um, 16th triplets. But anyway, that was the uh, division here. Another cool trick is that you can actually change the quantization value independently. So these are 16th notes. I can, let's say I want to quantize them perfectly to the grid. Just move this up to 100%. Th those are 16th notes. But you cannot quantize the entire track or region before because you switched between different uh, rhythms here. So these are eighth notes. Well, you can actually only select those and then quantize to eighth note triplets. So let's say, let's say those were on 16th notes first. Now it's wrong. So I want those at 8th note triplets. Select those, change it to 8th note triplets. Voila. And I have even made a key command out of this, changing the quantized value. Again, go into the key command editor. Simply search for quant quantize. Silly spelling on that word. And you can see, set quantize param parameter to next value and previous value. And I have control option command and these arrow things which are above my ordinary arrow keys next to the delete key so i can change this now to as you can see 16th note triplet uh eight note triplets and so on you saw look what happens over here so select those and if i have nothing selected i can simply change the value and no uh, notes are quantized mike here and my sponsor for today is myself and I want to let you know that you can get amazing sample packs on my website. Get new sounds for your music. Check out the link in the description, my friends. Now, I also have a final third trick, which is really cool if you, for example, go and edit lots of tra tracks at the same time. I hope you're already aware of the 
forward and rewind keys uh, key command, which is the comma and uh, full stop key on your keyboard. As you can see, it goes in full bars. And if you hold down the uh, shift key, it goes in eight bars. But what if you want to go in another uh, shorter value, let's say divisions? So if you go to the key command editor again and search for forward, you can see I have set forward by division value and the same for backward. Is it called backward? No. Rewind, of course. Uh, rewind by division value, as you can see, I have set it as control, option, command, all those keys, and then now the comma, and watch and a lot more videos uh, on composing so music, hold down producing and music, go, sound design, me, Logic actually. Pro X, and Oops. much more. So I'll in. see you I in the next video, my zoom friends. In. Like so, uh, I can now move backwards and forwards in divisions by holding down those and using the same commands. As you can see, the playhead moves now in 16th, since the division in 16th. Uh, I can then use my other command, like changing the grid to 12, and then I move also in divisions, but eighth note triplets. Super, super practical. So I have all these key commands without going here with my mouse and changing all the time. Uh, it really saves time. So I really recommend you to practice those and set up your own key commands for them. Changing the division, changing the quantize value up and down, and uh, setting up a key command to forward and rewind in divisions instead of uh, footballs.